Sometimes in life, you hit a wall so hard that you start to question everything. Your beliefs, your sense of purpose, even your connection with something greater than yourself. This wall isn't made of bricks or stones. It's made of doubt, fear, and a deep sense of emptiness. In spirituality, this experience is often referred to as the dark night of the soul. It's like a spiritual growing pain, one where you can't see the other side. It's a tunnel without a visible end, a storm with thunder so loud it drowns out all clarity. This is the universe's way of stripping you down to your core so you can rise anew, like a phoenix from its ashes. The process can be painful, yes, but it's pain with a purpose. It's a divine pruning, cutting away what you don't need to make room for new growth. Here are five signs you're going through a dark night of the soul. Overwhelming feelings of being lost, powerless, and hopeless. Sometimes life forces us to confront experiences that leave us feeling utterly lost, hopelessly disconnected, and incredibly vulnerable. You may even find yourself standing at the crossroads of your life, unsure of which path to take. You have dreams, goals, and aspirations, but they feel distant. You yearn for clarity, but instead face an overcast sky where even the North Star seems to be hiding. It's as if the universe has thrown you out that you didn't see coming, one that's made you stumble and fall. You might think you're powerless, entrapped by situations you can't fix and people you can't change. Each day, it gets harder to find the strength to swim against the tide. You're exhausted, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually as well. You may even notice a certain irony. The more you're struggling, the more aware you become. You start to see your feelings, your actions, and the deep-seated beliefs that have been driving them. It's like waking up for the first time and realizing that you've been walking through life half asleep. You wonder, how could I have lived so unconsciously for so long? It feels like a paradox. The more you know, the more you don't know, the more you find, the more you feel lost. But let me tell you something incredibly important. Something that could change the way you see this challenging period in your life. This isn't a setback. It's a setup for a grand comeback. You face enormous challenges only to emerge stronger and wiser. Struggle is a natural part of any hero's journey. You're not weak, you're human. And being human means you're resilient, capable of overcoming the toughest conditions and the bleakest moments. Your heightened awareness, your confusion, and your doubt are all signs that you're on the verge of a breakthrough, not a breakdown. You're going through a process of shedding the old to make room for the new. You're breaking free from relationships, beliefs, and behaviors that don't serve you anymore. Like a snake shedding its skin, or a butterfly emerging from its cocoon, you're undergoing a transformation. Be patient, be courageous, and be open. Your dark night will pass, but the wisdom and strength you gain will last a lifetime. A drastic change in interests and the company you keep. Imagine a favorite old song that used to fill you with so much life. One day you play it, and realize that the melody doesn't stir your soul like it used to. It's not that the song has lost its rhythm or lyrics. You have changed. This shift isn't limited to music. It stretches across activities you loved and even friends you couldn't imagine life without. Suddenly, those things and people seem out of tune with the person you are becoming. You feel like an instrument in need of a new song, a different kind of music that aligns with your evolving soul. You discover a different kind of joy, like reading profound literature, meditating, or watching documentaries that challenge your worldview. It's subtler, but more resonant, more aligned with who you're becoming. You might even find that it's not so much joy, but a profound sense of peace or meaningfulness. The settings have changed, the social circle has shifted, but in that space you discover something crucial, your own evolving self. We often hold on to the past because it's familiar, it feels safe, but clinging to what used to give us joy can become a prison when we are growing and changing. Realize that it's okay to outgrow certain activities and people. It's okay to seek new playgrounds and playmates as we evolve. You're not betraying your past, you're honoring your future. In this transformative journey, give yourself permission to grow, change, and most importantly, to become more you than you've ever been before. A shift in your definition of success. 
You've reached that pivotal milestone, securing the internship you've been striving for, pouring years of your life into. And yet, as you stand on this supposed peak of accomplishment, you feel an overwhelming sense of emptiness, like standing at the top of a mountain, only to find the view obscured by fog. This very moment, ironically, becomes the catalyst for something deeply transformative, your dark night of the soul. This unsettling experience might make you wonder, how can something I worked so hard for leave me feeling so hollow? You've chased a dream that society, and maybe even your family set for you, never pausing to ask, is this what I truly desire? You've sprinted on a path paved by expectations, expectations that don't necessarily mirror your authentic self. Your concept of success, you realize, needs a complete overhaul. You're not alone in this realization. Many of us go through life like actors on a stage, playing roles we didn't even audition for. We measure our worth in grades, promotions, likes on social media, or the size of our paycheck, missing the bigger picture. The Dark Knight of the Soul takes that script, rips it apart, and challenges you to rewrite it, not based on what you've achieved, but on who you truly are. Why is this experience so invaluable, despite the discomfort it brings? Because it presents you with a life-altering truth. Your worth is not an equation where the variables are your accomplishments. You are worthy simply because you exist, simply because you're here, living this human experience. This realization can be both unsettling and liberating. It takes you off the performance treadmill and puts you on a path of meaningful existence. It's as if life is telling you, you don't have to earn your worth you are inherently valuable. This is a watershed moment in your journey. It's a time to reevaluate what success genuinely means to you. Does it involve acquiring material possessions? Or is it more about spiritual growth? Is it about climbing the corporate ladder? Or is it about forming meaningful relationships? This is the moment where you decide what matters most to you, where you separate the wheat from the chaff in your life. So let's celebrate this disorienting yet transformative phase. It's a sign that you're on the cusp of understanding something extraordinary. That you're not a human doing, but a human being. Your value doesn't lie in your ability to tick off boxes on a checklist. It resides in your capacity to love, to grow, to connect, and to be. Remember, your worth is intrinsic. It's woven into your very being and doesn't need external validation. The reawakening of your inner child. Sometimes, wisdom doesn't come from growing older but from revisiting the parts of ourselves that were there before the world taught us to conform. One of the most profound markers of your dark night of the soul is a growing connection with your inner child. It's like coming full circle, arriving back at the starting line, but with a new sense of purpose and understanding. As you become more conscious of your life journey, your thoughts, your emotions, and even your deeper wounds, you'll notice a small voice getting louder and more persistent. It's not a voice of judgment or societal expectations. It's the voice of your inner child, yearning to be acknowledged and heard. This is no coincidence. It's an integral part of your spiritual and emotional evolution. Listening to your inner child is like opening a time capsule filled with your most authentic desires, dreams, and even vulnerabilities. The feelings and experiences that shaped you in your formative years haven't vanished. They've been waiting patiently for you to rediscover them. Your inner child holds the keys to understanding your deepest wounds, your most genuine emotions, and your core beliefs. This reconnection is a healing process. When you tune into your inner child, you're not merely listening. You're validating a part of you that might have felt neglected or even buried under layers of adult responsibilities and societal norms. This is a form of self-love that is transformative, enriching your understanding of who you are at the most foundational level. The beauty of this is that it peels back the layers to reveal the core of your being. You're forced to face uncomfortable truths, but you're also given the incredible gift of meeting yourself anew. By conversing with your inner child, you're saying, I see you, I hear you, and you matter. It's like patching up an old friendship that was never really lost, just waiting to be rekindled. But why is this reconnection essential? Because your inner child is the guardian of your authenticity. As adults, we often wander far from our authentic selves, lured by the siren songs of ambition, acceptance and societal pressure. But the further we stray, the more disoriented we become. 
Reconnecting with your inner child during the dark night offers a lifeline back to your true self. A paradoxical sense of freedom and authenticity. You might wonder, how can I feel free when I'm going through one of the most challenging periods of my life? This paradox is at the very heart of the dark night experience. Yes, you're confronted with immense obstacles, soul-deep questions, and a dissection of your entire life as you've known it. Yet within this upheaval, there lies a unique type of freedom, a freedom that gives you the fortitude to continue the journey, no matter how rugged the path. You start to understand, deep in your core, that this transformative process is for your ultimate good. This isn't just an intellectual knowing, it's a visceral, spiritual acknowledgement. It feels as if the universe is sculpting you, chiseling away the excess to reveal your most authentic self. You're not being punished, you're being purified, prepared for a life that is more aligned with your true essence than any previous chapter. This newfound freedom stems from a profound place of trust, trust in the universe, in the process, and crucially, in yourself. For perhaps the first time, you're not second-guessing every decision or worrying incessantly about the outcomes. Instead, you're surrendering to the flow of life, assured that you're on the right path, even if it feels uncomfortably unfamiliar. This trust isn't naivety. It's faith rooted in the deepest parts of your being. The dark night of the soul isn't just a low point in your life. It's a spiritual detox, cleansing you of everything that is not aligned with your highest self. Although painful and confusing, this phase is an essential part of your journey towards spiritual awakening and deeper understanding of yourself. Trust this process and remember you're not going through it alone or without purpose. Walk it with faith, for you are not alone. The universe is walking with you every step of the way. I hope this video brings some light into your heart. If you love this, please share it with your friends and family so that they can be blessed too. I hope you have a wonderful day.